this is Parisian Farm Girl. Bienvenue, welcome to my channel. It has been five years ago this weekend since my family and I moved into this home. It's been an incredible five years. A lot of projects done, a lot of projects to go. But what I've done is I've taken all of the Christmas tours that we have filmed and put them in one video for you today. It's really incredible for me to look back and see all the changes in the house and of course, when we look back at older videos to see all the changes in video equipment and filming style. So we're gonna start at the very beginning, one year after we moved in, our first tour in 2018. Hello lovelies, I'm so glad that you're here for the Christmas house tour. I thought I would fluff up the wreath a little bit before we go inside. Actually, this is one of my little tricks for decorating for the holidays, because I don't know about you, but I would love to deck the halls in fresh eucalyptus and rosemary and bay leaf, but that is not possible. So sometimes I will go to the thrift and pick up a faux wreath and then go around the property and grab greens and just wedge them in. We're out in the country, nobody sees the house, we're tucked so far back. So it gives the illusion as you pull up the driveway that there is a real wreath on the door. Now what I think we should do if you wanna see real greens is we'll go in the kitchen entrance because I did a really fun swag on the porch post that I would love to show you before we get started. Here we are. This is the entrance to the kitchen off the potager in the courtyard here. And we have an old porch post um, just giving the illusion for some structure here and what I did was I took some florist wire and a ton of greenery from the woods, some dehydrated oranges and just random berries and this big twig that I found and just sort of wired it all together to give this beautiful cascading arch for guests that come. This is our rack where we hang our sun bonnets and gardening hats in the summer and I just found a scarf at the Goodwill and some greenery and it's just a beautiful welcoming entrance. I'm going to take you out front really quick and show you this fabulous vintage Merry Christmas sign that's from an old department store rooftop and then we'll go inside for the house tour. out there so I had to pour a cup of coffee get warmed up actually this is the perfect time of day for this tour because the Sun is going down the house is getting cozier and cozier and I thought the best place to start would be the kitchen because it is cozy central in here now I wanted to go all out in the kitchen so I started by swapping out some of the fabric to really change the look I went to a little shop in town and got a big giant plaid tablecloth and I got blood from a turn up with this tablecloth. I cut it up as much as I could. I made two skirts, one for the island and one for the sink and three curtain balances. It totally changed the look of the kitchen. It's perfect. It's like your 1980s quintessential plaid. I love it. I've also decorated the mantle and just had a lot of fun with swags and tucking in some rose hips and natural things here and there. I think that this kitchen came out wonderfully. We've been baking a ton of cookies, macaron, just spending a brilliant amount of time in here. The kids have been um, making cranberry and popcorn garland, 
and it's the perfect place for us to make these memories. This is one year we're coming up on in this house. The kitchen looks totally different than it did a year ago. I'm gonna show you around and then we'll go room to room. Like I said, it's the perfect time because the sun is setting and it's just going to get cozier and cozier. So are you ready? Now, this is the pretty room. We call it that because it's actually the one room we have done no projects in. That sounds weird, but the room was pretty good when we moved in last year, and so we put our furniture in and sort of took a deep breath because we had a place to go to get away from all the remodeling, and so we call it the pretty room. In fact, Joel calls it the magnificent room. And so in that theme, I went with golds and tinsels and pewters and things like that for my Christmas decor. I thought it went really well with my brass peacocks and the antique clock that we have. I love this room. I love the natural woodsy look of all the greens, but I do love a little glitz and glam, so I'm getting my kicks in this room with that.
almost to the point of the tour that you've been waiting for. I've been waiting. I can't wait to show you the Christmas tree for the first time in my life. I have a cathedral ceiling, and so I told Joel I have to have a big old Queen Victoria Christmas tree, like with Queen Victoria and Prince Albert and all the children underneath. This tree is huge. It's got to be 10 feet. It's beautiful. Let's go look at it. About 10 days ago, I made a trip out to the wood for a ton of fresh greens and I've got them all over the house. But my trick is halfway through the season, I get another round of fresh, take out the really crispy ones, put in some new ones. What I'm gonna do here is I'm going to stuff the stockings with fresh greens. It's one of my favorite things to do because the stockings have gold glitter on them and I think the live greens with the glitter looks great. And it gives them some content until they're packed with little treats.
thank you for joining me for a tour of the house. This is an incredibly magical, very special time of year for my family and I. We're coming right upon our one year anniversary of living here in Door County. And so we had such a great time decking the halls in comparison with last year, being surrounded by moving boxes and having our little Charlie Brown tree. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, happy Christmas, a Joyo Noel, a bonne année. What else? Happy New Year, and I will see you very soon. A bientôt. Before we move on to the next tour, I would love to thank Birch Living for sponsoring this video. You know I've been talking to you all year long about investing in a Birch mattress for you or for someone that you love. Birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally friendly. It's important for me to sleep on a Birch mattress because they are Green Guard Gold certified. So I can sleep peacefully knowing that there is no harmful off-gassing from chemicals coming from my mattress. In fact, this year my mom moved into a new home and we gifted her a Birch mattress. I think a Birch mattress is a wonderful Christmas gift for someone that you love because we can all agree that sleep is so important. Unlike synthetic mattresses, these wool mattresses are hypoallergenic and allergen and mildew resistant. I ordered a California King Birch Lux mattress for Joel and I. We've had it for about two years now and our sleep has been fantastic. With your Birch mattress, you will receive a 100 night sleep trial. So you can purchase with confidence and a 25 year warranty. The mattress is going to come right to your door. I love my Birch mattress and I know that you will too. If you're looking for a new mattress or need to give someone a fabulous Christmas gift, check out my link below for $400 off your Birch mattress and two free pillows. Truth be told, this next tour is my favorite. This was 2019. I feel like I was really in my heyday with the house, just really settling in and getting a feel for it. I hope you enjoy it.
Hi, I'm Angela, Parisian Farm Girl. Bienvenue, Joyeux Noël, and Merry Christmas. Welcome to my channel. This is my second annual French farmhouse Christmas tour, and I'm so excited to share it with you. I brought up all the dusty tubs from the basement. I got out Rhett and Scarlet. See if you can find Rhett and Scarlet during this tour. And the kids and I have had a wonderful couple weeks stringing together stale popcorn and cranberries and dehydrating oranges got my rhinestones out. The house is decked. I spent some time in the woods for quiet, gathered some evergreens, had some roses delivered to the house for a big party we're having this evening. And I think it's time for you to walk with me through the house for some inspiration. I do hope that this tour inspires you to make your home as beautiful and as cozy as possible for yourself and for the people you love this holiday season. Merry Christmas. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Now let's get started. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close, forget about everyone else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories, oh, oh, la da 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 oh, 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 la da 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 oh, 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 la da da da, making our Christmas memories. To come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close, forget about everyone else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories, oh, oh, la da 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 oh, 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 da 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 making our Christmas memories, yes, these are the with you don't even care what we do if we spend it with you mm -hmm. just you and nobody else it's so good to see you again to see you again baby this year it's just gonna be you and me Come, let us adore him. Come, let us adore him. 
adore him. Come, let us adore him. Christ the Sing, all oh, your yes, citizens of heaven above. Glory to God in the highest. Come, let us adore Him. Come, let us adore Him. Come, let us adore.
Okay, I do hope that you enjoyed that, that you find yourself just a little bit inspired to go cut some evergreens and make your home as cozy as possible this holiday season. Stay tuned for our next video. I've had a lot of requests to show you some baking and some recipes. So I'm going to walk you through how to create the perfect Christmas party. You'll be able to use it for your party for the next few weekends and even for Christmas day for your friends and family. Thank you so much for being here. The channel growth we've experienced this year is because of you and we're stunned and humbled. And I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Show you Noel, well. a pinto. The next tour I'd love to share with you is my candlelit tour. Now this one came about in a pinch because we were really busy and it gets so dark so early here in Northern Wisconsin. If we don't film by 2.30 in the afternoon, it's pretty much over, which is why I'm outside because the house was just too dark even to film these little segments for this video. So I thought, why not light every candle that I own, turn on every battery operated candle and film a Christmas candlelit tour. This was, I think, 2020. I hope you enjoy. Hello lovelies, I'm Angela and this is Parisian Farm Girl. Bienvenue, Joyeux Noël. Welcome to my channel. If you never have, would you give this video a thumbs up and quickly subscribe. This year marks the third anniversary of our family living in Door County in this incredible 1980s eco house that we are turning in to an old European farmhouse. Each year we have done a Christmas tour to mark the end of the year and the progress that we've made. Now this year has been incredibly profound for all of us around the world and I wanted the tour to reflect something a little bit different. I wanted it to reflect our hearts. Our hearts are very inward, we're very focused on the family that we can be with, the family that we're missing, and so this year we are presenting to you a very beautiful, gentle, candlelit tour of the farmhouse. Now we've gone around the house and we've turned down all the chandeliers. We've lit as many candles as possible. And this is very special to me as well because as a child growing up, my mother would indicate the end of the day by changing the lighting in our home. She would turn down the lights. In fact, I knew her job was done for the day when the dishwasher was running and when a candle was lit on the counter. It is the end of the year for all of us. So we've turned down the lights We've lit our candles and we're so pleased to bring you this candlelit tour of the farmhouse. Now, please keep in mind that many of these candles have been lit for entertainment purposes, of course, and you will want to use more discretion in your own homes and never leave a candle unattended.
Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Not only green when summer's here, but also when it's cold and drear. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, such pleasure do you bring me. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, such pleasure do you bring. Such pleasure do you bring me? And of course, this last tour is our most recent one that aired on YouTube last week. This is what our house looks like right now as we are bringing 2022 to a close. Hello lovelies, I'm Angela. This is Parisian Farm Girl. Bienvenue, welcome to the channel. This is our, I think our fifth French farmhouse Christmas tour. So if you're brand new to the channel, which I know these tours attract a lot of new people, welcome. We do this every year. We do, we try to do four tours a year so you can sort of see the progress on our house. Five years ago, we bought an eco house, a very modern house that was extremely outdated. There goes the cuckoo clock uh, here in Northern Door County. And we are sort of deconstructing it to dial back the clock and create our very own French farmhouse. Now I'm a bit of an Anglophile as well, so you'll see a lot of British influence in the house as you are here with us today. We're gonna take you around the first floor, show you all the Christmas decor that I've put up this year and take you up to my office, a glimpse into the bedroom so you can see that Christmas sort of makes its way 
through the entire house. I'm so happy that you're here. I'd love for you to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we bring you a new video because in 2023 we will show you what I really hope as a mother of six and a wife is the final stages of this huge project that we took on five years ago. Lots of DIY, lots of home decor and remodeling. But for now, let's dial in to the cozy. I'd like to share with you how my family and I deck our halls. Yes, I do try to bring Christmas into just about every room of the house, including the bedroom. This is a time for some extra jewelry, some extra sparkle. I bring some dried flowers in from the garden for the bed. Yes, it's terribly messy, but for a few weeks, it's extremely enjoyable. In my office, I also have a vintage Christmas tree, and this is very sentimental for me. This is sort of my memory lane trip for my travels. This is my New Orleans trip in particular. So I have some ornaments that I bought on my New Orleans trip and some feathers from the Paris flea market, of course. This is a time of year where someone like me gets to add a little bit more pizzazz and sparkle to just about everything that I do. It's also a time of year where I get to dress up a little bit more than normal, and this is the red dress that I wore to the Harry Connick Jr. concert a few weeks ago. We had third row tickets. It was a dream come true, and you know what? I'm gonna let it hang there all month just to remind me how much fun we had. Christmas also makes its way into the conservatory with a few touches here and there, some lights woven into some of my favorite plants, and this ribbon, which is very sentimental to me because it is what was stretched across the driveway when we named our home five years ago. The first nowhere. was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep no This birdcage will be my next project, so be sure to watch that on an upcoming video. You won't believe how I scored it, and it reminds me so much of a building in Paris.
Even the bathroom gets a little touch of Christmas. This is our powder room, so guests will experience this space. I love to make it fragrant and cozy. The pine cones I've had for years and just adding a few touches, including changing out the sink skirt to plaid helps everything stay festive. I did share the kitchen with you last week, so if you'd like to see this kitchen in its entirety, because this is Cozy Central, be sure to check out that video. But the kitchen is one place where I can really make changes. I swap out the dishes for red and white. I deck the fireplace hearth over the range with Christmas lights and garland. I polish the copper and I light as many candles as possible. Hello lovelies, are you a member of my Old World Design Society yet? If not, check the link in this video description because you'll have access to three design classes per season, flea market tours with me, a private design forum, and so much more. You can be a basic member or get a print or digital magazine with your society membership. You are not alone in your love for creating beautiful spaces. So join my Old World Design Society today. Now, I wish that I could say my kitchen was always this clean around the holidays, but the truth is it's usually covered in powder and food coloring and dirty rolling pins from little helpers. But one of my cleaner creative projects is a simmer pot, and I usually keep one going all season long. While I know many people decorate their Christmas trees or their entryways or mirrors with Christmas cards they receive from friends and family, I like to decorate this tree with old French letters. There's something so charming and precious about thinking about families and friends that have celebrated this holiday for hundreds of years and what it meant to them and what it means to so many people and what it means to me and that will just continue on and on and on.
And last but not least, the room with the Christmas tree. We do head out to our woods every year to cut our tree down. And this room is all about my shiny bright collection, my brass deer collection, and reflection. I love the way the lights reflect off of the ornaments and off of all the metal surfaces. It adds such a glow to the room. Of course, Rhett and Scarlet, that is what I affectionately call my Dickens characters that grace the entryway from the living room into the kitchen. This room may not be very stylish in its Christmas decor, but to me, it is oh so beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me for this long batch of Christmas tours. I hope you are inspired and that you and your family have a beautiful Christmas together. Of course, stay tuned to the channel for new videos before the end of the year. Right now, you can watch this one right here. Make sure you are a member of my Old World Design Society. You can do that by clicking this white circle right here. Subscribe, and I will see you again very soon. A bientôt.